Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to the news. Now, wow. Ever since Tinibu's ministerial nominees list was unveiled to Nigerians by the Senate president, Goswil Apabio, Nigerians never rest since so. People just they talk, talk here and there. Some come they talk say now wow. This one will be say Tinibu Congo carry a man like Erofai. Included him into his own cabinet. What thing they happen? I be Tinibu no know the kind person where Erofai be. Upon all the old one, he will be say people don't they want Tinibu say he should be very careful of a man like Erofai. He should be very, very mindful. Of the kind of personality that Erufai has. Erufai, according to some people, is a chameleon and will change at any moment. According to Shei Yusani, he had earlier warned Tinibu that uh, it seems that Tinibu had dodged, you know, uh, some kind of poisonous knife when he did not give um, Erufai appointment, when Tinibu was given appointment, when he was newly, you know, brought in as the president of this country. And then we got to see that uh, Tinibu's ministerial nominees list, Erufai made it to the list. Amongst other, you know, uh, ex-APC governors, they were also present in the list, including uh, Governor Yesong Winke, the, the, the former governor of uh, River State. So my country people, now Sheyu Sani have said that Erufai is decisive. He will set President Tinibu against the Vice President Shetima. This is coming from Sheyu Sunny, my country people. That means now while I will see for years, so that means um Erufai being in Tinibu's cabinet will bring a lot of problems because according to Sheyu Sunny, don't just say a man like Erufai, uh, Erufai will create a lot of problems between Tinibu, between Shetima. He will plant problems. So, guys, let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't, for, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The former Nigerian lawmaker and a social critic, Senator Sheyu Sani, has said that President Bola Tinibu invited trouble into his government by bringing Nasa Erufai into his administration as a minister. Sani, who spoke while featuring on a channel's TV program on Saturday, prophesied that Erufai would cause conflict between Tinibu and the Vice President Kesim Shetima, as he allegedly did during the administration of the former President Olusegun Obasanjo. Now, referring to the antecedent of the former governor of, of uh, Kaduna State, the political activist and a right advocate described Erufai as the most religious, intolerant Nigerian who will not stop at anything to achieve his religious agenda. Also, scrutinizing Tinibu's ministerial nominees list, the former senator who represented Kaduna Central Senatorial District said, I have seen people that are very undeserving to even be a minister and now particularly is the former governor of Kaduna State, Nasa Erufai. Unfortunately, President Tinibu went ahead and picked Erufai. Me, I don't know the, the reason why he did so, but I have my point. And I believe that if President Tinibu is listening to me or any other person, a friend, a supporter, or a fan who is close, then I will make some prophecies. Though about what is going to happen with Erufai in his government in the next few years. First of all, if you are nominating Erufai based on integrity and transparency, and you, you said maybe you shouldn't appoint or nominate the former governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduji, on the issues of allegations that have been online over time, and Erufai too has allegations against him because there was an outstanding issue of 32 billion federal government property against Erufai, which the issue now is in court. Sani explained that his trial was stalled in 2015 after he was elected the governor of Kaduna State, adding that that, that issue is there 
before the justice, Binta Inyako, in the Federal High Court. Secondly, his government has run under the ticket of Muslim Muslim ticket, and it has been doing everything possible to appease and please the Christian population in this country, and that the government is not about theocracy. This is not about Islamization, no. It is not about any religious agenda, but simply a political uh, strategy to win an election. But yeah, you are enlisting and employing a man who has by his record and by his antecedents, his conduct, his utterances, has appeared to be the most intolerant Nigerian in the history of this country. Show, citing a recent viral video where Erufai made a statement about the Muslim Muslim governance in the country, Sani asked why President Bolad Metinibu appointed Erufai as a minister. The video has been in circulation where this person has made a statement on social media regarding the religious agenda in this country. And by that, he has irritated and triggered a national con uh, conversation as long as this issue of government is concerned. And now you are bringing him close to you. You should be very careful. But for all I know, there are many people who have supported and worked for Tinibu, and Tinibu has been reputive to have always selected the best for mistakes and has always been able to make a record out of that. Well, I guess Sheyusani is disappointed in President Bola Admet Tinibu's ministerialist because he had expected, you know, Tinibu to bring in men of honor, men of integrity, men with competency. But at last, he brought in Erufai after he had warned Tinibu against Erufai. Now, judging with Erufai's past experience, <laughs> Erufai would do more harm than good, though. Erufai, in fact, would cause trouble to Tinibu's government. He take, for example, when Erufai was in uh, Obasanjo's government now, he planted the discord between Obasanjo and Atiku. Then, oh, in fact, Erufai was the center of what happened between Obasanjo and uh, Atiku Abubakar. But you see, a man like Erufai will not limit himself to the ministry that has been assigned to him. He will go to other places. He would want to meddle in every ministry in government, like he did when he was the FCT minister. He fought with uh, Kema Chukwe, who was also the minister of aviation. He fought with Amadou Bello, who was the minister of uh, agriculture. So you see, Erufai being in Tinibu's government, hmm, it is a very, very bad omen. And history would repeat itself in Tinibu's government. They said, a leopard, can, a leopard can never change its spots and its colors. So, Erufai is still that same person. And he is going to set Tinibu against Shetima. So, my country people, this is coming from Senator Sheyu Sani. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.